And we're back, everybody. I'm curious to see if this is, like, the end, because I can't imagine there's that much more. Thank goodness there are no guards here. Onwards. Onwards. To victory. We have to do something, Captain Nate. What? It's too late. Mother, you have long desired the artifact of divine fate, and I have brought it to you. Wow. Well, seems violent. What? Later. Hurry, yeah. both of you, touch the amulet. See you later. Did she just create like an infinite loop though? Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened to the real artifact? It's somewhere safe. With the Archmage? No. He knew immediately that no mortal would be able to handle its power. I've hidden it where no one will ever find it. But you could do a lot of good with it. We already know what you would do with it. So, what do we do next? That can't be everything. Maybe there's another adventure waiting for us somewhere. Let's wait and see. Aww. That was a great game! That was a really, really good point and click! A number of nice, difficult puzzles. A few that were a little bit, like, come on. But for the most part, I thought that was probably one of the better point and clicks I've ever played. Yeah, and I, I was just really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know uh, point-and-click adventures aren't everyone's favorite, but uh, I I really really enjoyed this one. And for some reason, I've just I I've always loved point-and-click games. Um, some people don't know the stories that, like my sister and I, when when I first started playing video games, we played King's Quest and The Dig and Full Throttle. And, uh, that was what really got me into video games. So, like, my earliest time was spent in video gaming playing point-and-click adventures. And so because of that, I just... There, there's just a special place in my heart for them. Um... You know, where some people grew up with Doom and love the first-person shooters. Some people grew up with Mario and love platformers. You know, I, it, it was one of those... I, I love just problem solving. And I actually kind of realized that became my job. Um, I mean, honestly, if you work in IT, most of your day is spent problem solving. Depends on your job, obviously. But, uh, it... I don't know, I, I, I love it. So, hope you guys all really enjoyed the game. I absolutely enjoyed playing it. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you consider 5 an average game, not like an 8 or a 7 as an average, if 5 is the average game, average entertainment, probably give this like a 7, 7 and a half. Um, it's just, it was really, really well done. And I, I mean, a number of 
Actually, the, the length of the game surprised me. The number of actual puzzles in it uh, is pretty impressive. There was a, there's a number of, uh, of puzzles where, in a lot of the point-and-click games, you don't, you don't actually see that that much. There's a number of very difficult puzzles, but, you know, uh, generally it's, it's fairly straightforward. That's horrifying. So, I have to kind of see what's coming up and what's next. But, uh, yeah, I had a blast. There is, like, a part point five or something. There's, like, the Critter Adventure. It's like a side adventure, um, which I don't own. But I do own Book of Unwritten Tales 2 that a, a great fan bought for me. I really appreciate it. And, uh, so I probably will be... I will be doing that at some point. I'm not sure when yet. Critter! Oh, uh, the little, uh, hunting machine and... Decently sized cast for... or, uh, credits, anyway. Blow. I love looking at some of this stuff, too. Um, just some of the design books and, and things like that. Uh, I always like seeing where the creativity came from. You know, from the beginning stages to, to where it is. I'd actually love to see some of the plans behind it. Not just the sketch-ups, but like the actual puzzle solving itself. How they came up with it. How they came up with each part. Uh, Beer for Bremen. I have no idea what that means. All the English, like German people, I have no idea. Unfortunately, my German is uh, non existent. Yeah, you know, the animations weren't the best. The graphics certainly weren't the best. Um, but it was just... It was a fun game to play. The uh, audio is cracking out a little bit. Oh, ow. It's kind of hurt my ears. I'm not sure how much you guys were able to even hear me over that. Hopefully, a lot. The audio of Hello? that... Hello? Oh. Wilbur? Oh. I can hear your footsteps. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I see. Yeah, definitely a quality game, though. Um, it's hard to recommend point-and-click adventures to people after I've already beaten them. Like, if you've watched through it, you know. But uh, anyway, folks, that looks like the end. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and hope you enjoy the other LPs. Thanks for watching, everybody.